mic check one two one two Welcome back to another session. In today's video, I plan on sharing my life-changing moment and what you can do to get yourself ready for your next phase of greatness. My turning point has been an encouragement to many who have given me the opportunity to speak into their lives. You did not click this video by mistake. I know your time is now. Everyone has their turning point. This is usually not taught in schools, as you may know and it's something that you need to decide and act on. I value your time, and I promise you that at the end of this video, you will have some encouraging thoughts to get you going. To my returning subscribers, I welcome you back. Thank you, thank you for your continual support. If you're new here, I officially welcome you. The name remains the same, Dr. Frederick Aqua. Currently, I'm a second year internal medicine resident in New Jersey, and I hope to earn your subscription at the end of this video. Let's go. I would like to start with an intriguing story about these 12 leaders who were sent as spies to go to a land called Canaan, which was promised to the people of Israel. They were given 40 days to accomplish this mission without being captured. When they returned safely from this expedition, they had to give a report to the whole Israel community. Now the report they gave was fascinating. They reported that the land that they saw had produce that could not be seen anywhere else. They also added how powerful the people they saw were. They were people of great size. They even included the tribes they saw along the way to the land of Canaan. Meaning, before they reached that promised land, they had to be mentally prepared to fight the clans that they saw, to fight the tribes that they saw before they get to the land that had been promised to them. Interestingly, the word that permeated among the Israel community was this. We seem like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we seem the same to them. My question for you today is, how do you see yourself? And what is your perspective on your own life? Just so you know, you cannot depend on what people say about you. You cannot take everything people say about you for face value. This is because knowing who you are plays a major role in your success story. Like most kids, I grew up in a religious home. I grew up in a Christian home. Sunday services were mandatory. If you want to have a roof over your head, you had to attend that service. As a kid, my mind was being modeled by the living word that I heard during these services. And hey, I'm telling you that my life would have never been the same if I had not gone through those stages in my life. So I take this moment to salute everyone that played a major role in my upbringing and making sure that I got the right foundation in my life. God bless you. Now, what did not make sense to me was the unequal distribution of success and wealth. Fast forward, I immigrated into the United States and the messages being preached were similar. They were of similar connotations but then the presentations were different. Yet, the laces of inequality were unbuckled. In search for more reasons for this, the light bulb went off. I came to an enlightenment, and I realized that all had to do with my belief system, which shapes my thinking and influences my attitude. When a king in an animal kingdom is called, guess who shows up? The lion a brave and a majestic beast. The way a lion sees himself makes him earn the respect in the animal kingdom. I ask you the question again, how do you see yourself? Flipping the coin, I saw that my non-African folks were moving up the ladder of success. And I wondered, what do they know that I don't? I realized that most of the things that I had to do was things that I wanted to do for myself. 
If I was going through anything, I wanted to leave it to myself and I did not want to discuss things with people. But I realized that that did slow me down in achieving certain milestones than I had to. Thus, the saying goes, two heads are better than one. You may be going through something, but finding the right person is very important to helping you go over that problem or jump over that hurdle. There are several studies out there on growing up in a poor family. Stats show that growing up in a poor family, you are at an increased risk of growing up to become poor, but that shouldn't be your case. The reason why I say this is the opportunity is there to think outside the walls of poverty. So I came to encourage you today that whatsoever that you're going through, it will not last. It's all training you and getting you ready for your next phase of greatness. But your attitude plays an important role on whether you give up or you keep going. Great men are born in tough times. When they see problems, as people call them, they see them as opportunities. When they see these things called problems, they do not panic, but rather they, will, they have a plan. They make a plan to overcome that challenge of which they call an opportunity. And you can do the same. Alexander the Great once said, an army of sheep led by a lion will always defeat an army of lions led by a sheep. And this has to do with attitude. Diving into the field of medicine, doctors in training, you know that your first year, intern year is very tough. But for you to be resilient and move up to the next class, you need to have the right attitude. You're in medical school, things are getting tough. There is a reason why you went into the field of medicine. Find that, get your attitude right, get your thinking straight and have the right mindset because you can do it. Many of us have done it. So I encourage you today, pre-med guys watching me, I encourage you that you can do it. It's possible. I would also like to take this opportunity to dive into other fields of practice. It's possible. You gotta change your belief system and that belief system will affect your thinking. And if you change that thinking, it will all influence your attitude. Having the right attitude is what you need to move to your next phase of greatness. So my life changing moment came about when I changed my belief system. When my belief system changed, I saw that my thinking changed. I wasn't thinking like anybody else. And when my thinking changed, I saw that my attitude about life was different. And that has made me special. You are special. You can do it. Don't let anybody bring your spirit down. You stay focused. Let's work on this. Change your attitude and let's get this done. I'll see you in my next video. Shalom.